everyone wants to slow down aging. If that's even, even a thing, maybe it's the opposite of that. Or how do you stop yourself from aging faster? So in my opinion, I feel like muscle loss, which we've talked about, absolutely accelerates aging. So preventing that, but what else, what else in, in your world uh, and in your opinion will help slow down that aging process and, and make it look better. So, so people out there don't have to have to get scammed by, uh, by anti-aging uh, products. Yeah. So I, my big, I don't want to re- repeat myself, but it's it just as a maybe quick review and then something uh, new that we haven't talked about, but if, I always picture it like a, a pyramid, a triangle, and my big three for anti-aging or, you know, our aging, we're, we're all aging, but aging our best, we'll call it. Yeah. Uh, definitely hydration, nutrition is, is the base of the pyramid. Um, that's big. And you could even, and we already spoke about some of the, the habits and some of the, you know, core things you want to remember with nutrition and hydration one one b or if you want to go up to pyramid sleep would definitely be um there as well and what we didn't talk about is maybe a little bit but stress management i think is huge and i, I don't want to you know turn this into me trying to act like a life coach but you know you hear that expression like, you know, life is short, all these different things. Life is short. And I feel like literally you will make it shorter if you are not happy with, if you're in a job that you absolutely hate and you are miserable and you wake up every morning with a, with a, a knot in your stomach, like you're literally shortening your life. And I think you, I know not everyone could just, you know, quit their job and and do what you love. But if you are in a position where you can, if you're young enough where you're listening right now and you go, man, I have a job right now. I freaking, I hate it. I can't stand it. Maybe, maybe start a side hustle or do something on the side. What do you love to do? What, what do you, what do you look forward to doing on the weekends? If you hate your job, figure out a way to make a living doing that. And we live in a world, I'm telling you, this is coming from a guy who started training uh, clients out of a literal storage closet when multi-million dollar strength and, fa- uh, strength and conditioning facilities were the craze. And, and I had pro athletes come into me, Olympic athletes, to a literal storage closet. So you could do anything. People sell baseball cards online. They make a living. There's kids reviewing toys on YouTube, making millions of dollars. Like, do what makes you happy. Um, Even if it's uh, as a side hustle, because if you wake up every morning with a knot in your stomach, stressed out, you're, you're, you're shortening your life. You need to do what you love, surround yourself with people that are like-minded, positive, that old expression, you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. I know it sounds cliche, but, but I think it is 100% true. Negative, toxic people like to hang around with negative, toxic people people and complain and talk about how miserable they are and successful positive or uh, yeah, successful positive people like to hang around with other successful positive people and talk about ideas and what they're doing. And that is so underrated for your internal health. I, I can't stress it enough. So I want to make sure, you know, sleep and stress management is right up there with, with, nutrition, hydration, and, you know, the peak of the pyramid is what we've been talking about, exercise. And when it comes to exercise, strength training and walking are my big two for health longevity. We talked about the adaptation from strength training, the single best form of exercise you could do. I don't care if you're 18 or 80 years old, the the way your body adapts to strength training is the best for health and longevity. And then walking is a very non-stressful activity that has tremendous, tremendous benefit. New study just came out linking the amount of steps you take each day to how long you live. Uh, and most people, if, if you have you know functioning legs, uh, most people can go for a morning walk or three 10-minute walks a day. So that says the simplest way, uh, you know, the big three that, that I could... Um, that I could give for anti-aging or aging gracefully 
the uh, nutrition, hydration, sleep, stress management, and training. And, and when you think training, think strength training and walking as your big two. Now, I hope there are some listeners here today who probably haven't strength trained or maybe they just walk and they're, they're listening to us today. They're going, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try a couple minutes or I'm going to get out of bed. And I don't care if you push against a wall or, yes. or sit down in a chair and stand up again and sit down in a chair and stand up again and just doing something different, you know, that they haven't done before. So I'm hoping that this inspired some of our listeners. You're absolutely brilliant guy. And more importantly, you're just a hell of a nice guy. Uh, you are who you are and you, and you know it. And uh, we appreciate you, you being on here and tell us what, tell us where, uh, where everybody can go to, go to find you. I mentioned a couple of things about YouTube guys and, and females. If, if you want to find out more information, you just YouTube them. There's going to be a ton of videos and a ton of great information, but, but where else can they go to, to find out more information about, about you? Um, the main social media platform I use right now is Instagram. I'm at DeFranco's gym on Instagram. And then I have a podcast, which Tom spoke about. It's called the Industrial Strength Show, Joe DeFranco's Industrial Strength Show, which uh, I post new episodes every Thursday. That's on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and my website, which is DeFranco'sTraining.com. So plenty of ways to get all the access that you need. And, uh, and it's all pretty much free advice here. So why yeah. not take it? You know, why not take it and use it? And if they have any questions, um, do you do you get back to, to, to people asking you questions via email or, or direct message? Yeah, I actually I do. I, I can't say I get back to everyone, but I do spend a few hours each week just answering direct messages. So there, there's a good chance you send me uh, a DM on Instagram. I do my best to get back to as many people as I can. Incredible. Incredible. All right. Well, I know you're going for a walk, so we'll let you get to it. We appreciate it. Uh, last point. What's your favorite flavor? Oh, man, that's like asking me to choose my favorite kid. Uh, I have twin daughters, that, for those who don't get the reference. But oh, if I had a pick, I still I love the original, I call it the original line, grape. And oh, the defense, the, the cherry lime might be, might be my, I, I, I'm not just saying this because I'm every single, there we're talking like 1A, 1B, 1C. I haven't found one I don't like. It's like one's better than the next. It truly is incredible how you guys have made flavored water not just taste like dish water with like a hint of like a little something, but you're not really sure what it is. It's it's delicious. And I truly love every flavor, like equally like, like I love my twins. Yeah. What, well, your passion for nutrition is our passion for taking care of, of nutrition for consumers and just trying to make it super easy, right? Convenient, easy, tasty. There's no reason not to, to give these added benefits to you, whether it's gut health, whether it's toxin defense, whether it's just straight hydration. Uh, it, it's our goal to make it easy. It's our passion. We match up our passions for fitness and nutrition and, and uh, we'll take over the world someday.